Living legend. Maybe this guy? Living legend. Okay, so many of you have been asking me to run this build, the Typhon, with igniters and the flamethrower pilot. So I'm going to be doing that today. You can see we have MK3 igniters here. We also have a nuclear amplifier, two overdrives, advanced repair. And here is the pilot. So what does this pilot do? It says here the flamethrower's area of effect radius is increased by 30%. So what that means is the splash radius of these flamethrowers is going to be increased by 30%. We're going to see how much of a difference that actually makes uh, with this build and uh, here's the rest of my pilot skills as well okay so the backstory uh, is here as well for anyone who is interested you can pause this video uh, read up on that and in terms of my drone because i think the drone's also going to make a big difference here i am going to be running the paralysis so this drone is a lockdown uh, drone i also have lockdown a chip so that's going to increase the chances of me locking down players uh, with these flamethrowers. I also have uh, two on repair unit damage. Every time I use advanced repair, as you can see here, it increases my damage by 35% or I guess 70% because I do have uh, two of them. We also have the on mild damage absorber shield. Okay, so this build's going to be kind of interesting because um, it's a pure damage build, but I have to be careful of engaging, um, you know, too aggressively here because I don't have a last stand uh, on my Typhon. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run one game with this build and then afterwards some action clips. And right at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts on whether I would actually upgrade something like this and whether this pilot is worth uh, actually leveling up. Okay, so we've just dropped into power plant map. And um, I have started with the Typhon first. So we're going to see if we can try to get uh, some players going to the uh, gap here. Uh, nope, I can't get that guy. Maybe this one. Oh, we locked him down. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. He's down to his last stand. I'm trying to uh, move on over to uh, this side. Maybe we can get this beacon. Got him. Yes! And if I can get this uh, shell here. Ooh, he's taking on a lot of damage. Yep, you may want to move around the corner there. I think we took him out. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get the uh, gap area here. My teammate's going to get that beacon down below. My overdrives are now active. We're also at 80 multiplier, so 80% on the uh, nuclear amplifier. Ooh, you know what? I should target that uh, Fenrir back there. This is actually going to do a lot of damage to him if I'm able to uh, lock him down here. Hold on. Let's try to go for uh, this guy. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is crazy. This guy also got locked down. I wonder if I can uh, get another shot here on him. Hold on a second. Oh, wait. This guy's moving in here. Oh, I think I got him. Yes, we got him. I'm going to use the uh, advanced repair to amplify that damage even more. Maybe we can take this guy out. There we go. Nice. Let's move back into uh, the gap area here. This pull is so ruthless. I definitely notice a difference, but is it worth it though? Because I think we're going to get um, a nerf to these weapons. Trying to figure out what that player has. Is that a Typhon? I think he might have a Typhon actually. This guy here in front of us because his shield is up. I think that's a Typhon. I think he has a Typhon back. He does. Okay, so I'm going to move. I'm going to move this way. Hold on a second. I have a couple of hawks back there, so I'm trying to be very careful how I attack these players. If I can get uh, this guy. Got him. Oh, man. Okay, now I need to knock this guy's shield down. I think this is actually where the uh, splash radius will actually make a difference. Oh man, I fired into this uh, weird cover thing here in front of me. There we go.
Nice. My uh, teammates played it well. What is this guy in? Got him. No, I didn't. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> okay, hold on a second. We gotta be careful here. This guy's got a Demeter. He has a shield. I don't have a last stand on this thing, but he did use his ability, so I think we should attack in a now while we still can. This guy's gonna hit him. Let's try to get him with that. Did I get him? There we go. And this guy... Trying to allure him around the corner here. I try to see if I could actually uh, get this uh, player here. Oh man, hold on a second. This is bad. This is a shell. We have to uh, roast up this guy here quickly. Hold on a second. I have to back away. Looks like they're getting uh, this beacon as well. We need to try to take out this, um, this Ravana here. Oh man, every time I keep missing him. Come on, come on, come on, last stand. Okay, we got him down to his last stand, that's good. He also has a jump, so we know he's going to be jumping, uh, soon. Okay, I got the, I got the blitz. Whoa, wait a minute. Did I just kill both of them by accident? Well, the one guy by accident. I think I killed both. Let's go for this beacon. I uh, EMP'd the, the Ming back there. Just getting uh, this beacon. I'm going to move to the uh, top. Ooh, you know what? They have an Arthur here, too. Okay, hold on a second. Can I get within 350? Let's do that. Ooh, jeez, this guy's gonna go down so fast. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay, hold on a sec. Holy crap. Oop, I EMP'd him. I need to get, uh, I need to get another beacon here. I'm trying to actually survive as long as possible with this. I think I might have, uh, I get him. I got him. Nope. Hold on a second. Oh, he is locked. I EMP'd him. I think I should be able to get this beacon here. I hope, I hope. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, he locked me. Come on. Oh my gosh, that is close. 3,000 health. You kidding? Okay, so I think he's going to move this way. Hold on a second. If I can get... If I can maybe get this guy. I'm trying to move forward here. Whoa! Is that all from my flames? Jeez. I think he's going to kill me here. There's actually another player behind me. Okay, so... This game is kind of close. I need to drop in with a Favni or something. Let's uh, try to help out my teammate. Actually, let's go for this guy here instead because we do need to get another beacon quickly. So I'm going to deal with this guy here first. This game is actually pretty close. If I can uh, lock this guy down. You know what? I'm actually going to go to the uh, back beacon here first. We need to get another beacon. This game's really, really close. Uh oh, my team, you need to get a beacon quick. It's four versus four. Wait, wasn't it uh, three versus? Hold on a second. Oh, he's locked. I might be able to actually hold on a second here. He might be able to take this guy out. Because he's shooting my absorber shield, he's charging it up. My built in weapon's getting stronger. Okay, I'm gonna drop down to uh, this beacon. Where's this guy going? Okay, we need... We maybe need another beacon here. Let's see if he's gonna charge up my shield. That will help. Um, we could... 
You know what? Let's use the Arachi because we, we need to get that, that fifth beacon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we get another one, another one, another one? <laughs> yes. Yes. Five beacons, five beacons. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. This guy. I need to uh, try to get this beacon here. There's another guy behind me. Did we win? Yes. <laughs> that was close. That was a really good run there with the uh, Typhon. I tell you this though, I definitely notice a difference with the flamethrowers. So uh, 5.3 million, 12 kills, 7 beacons in that game. And this is how we stacked up. So uh, we're going to jump into some action clips now of this build in action. And then right at the end, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on whether I would actually level up this pilot uh, for this kind of build. Let's see, we can maybe, uh, maybe roast up the shell over here. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, there's a lot of guys under that uh, bridge there. Let's try to get this guy. I think I EMP'd him, so I should be able to take out this uh, Fenrir. Let's just do that. Here we go. Man, that took a while. Another one, another one! Oh my gosh. Oh, we locked him, yes! Oh man, we have, we have another guy. Hold on a second. We have another shell here at the bottom. So let's do uh, that. And that. Godlike. Another one. Oh my gosh, these guys. They're so aggressive on this left side here. My, my igniters can't even reload fast enough. So we can get this guy. Beyond Godlike. Maybe this one here too. Almost, almost. Hold on a second. Need to reload. Ah. We need to get uh, this guy here first. Living legend. Maybe this guy? Living legend. Holy crap. Can I lock that guy down? Oh, 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 almost. Trying to uh, lock that Demeter down if I can. Nope. They're trying to uh, target me uh, because I took out so many other players. I'm trying to see if I can maybe burn some of these guys up. There's actually a few in this tunnel here. So let's try to see if we can maybe... We have to wait until their shield is down. Let's get this guy. And this guy. Oh man, there's a lot of guys here. Oh jeez, look at his health. We locked him down. Gone. This build is actually insanely strong with this paralysis. Oh man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Trying, he's trying to get to me. Oh man, I think I pissed him off. Yes! Hold on, I need to uh, stop this player. There we go, there we go, I locked him. I locked him. Hold on a second. No! Got him! There we go, Rampage. I'm gonna try to uh, get that shell there. Hold on a second. Jeez, this, uh, this build is so strong, man. It's crazy. We're going to get him now with the EMP. Take out that guy. This guy beyond godlike. I think this is doing really well, not because of the pilot though. I think what's actually helping it is more the paralysis. That and the overdrives. I EMP'd the Nodens. He can't heal up here. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely insane. Look at look at that. That's nuts. Okay, so my final thoughts in terms of this build and whether you should actually level up this pilot over here. So the build itself is very strong. Don't get me wrong. Um, if you are leveling up igniters for this build, I do caution you though because I do think 
uh, these weapons are going to get a nerf in the near future. Uh, one reason is because they came out with this pilot, um, which is a whole nother story. Uh, the other reason is because I'm seeing a lot of flamethrowers being used right now uh, in the game. And I think, uh, you know, those are warning signs to me that uh, there's going to be a nerf to flamethrowers. Uh, if you take a look at this pilot over here. Now, let's just say hypothetically, you were leveling up this pilot along with your, uh, you know, igniter weapons. And uh, something happens in the game. Maybe the uh, igniters get nerfed down and you decide to switch to something like scaddy weapons or uh, scorches. Uh, well, this pilot skill over here is going to be lost. So, uh, you know, is it worth it? In my opinion, I don't think so at this point in the game. Um, you have to actually be very careful of uh, weapon specific pilots because I find that they don't really have a very long uh, shelf life. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinion on these two things. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.